Hey everybody, I am back. This time I am at Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Monday morning. Monday morning. I just I'm up in Area 5. I wanted to see what the beach looks like after that storm passed us by. Tropical storm Cristobal. Did not come close to us, but we still felt the effects of it. It passed by, well, passed by us way out in the Gulf, to the west of us out in the Gulf. But I think our beach took a pounding here. Well, we definitely have a lot more sand on the beach. A lot more sand on the beach. As you can see by that bench. A little difficult to sit on the bench right now. Look at that. I was talking to Kevin here. Our friend Kevin is a volunteer here at the park now. Kevin is one of our newest volunteers, Kevin Nestor. I was just talking to him. He said a lot of the turtle nests here got buried under the sand, just like we saw earlier at Vanderbilt Beach. Sad, sad, sad. But there is a lot more sand piled up here. A lot more sand at the north end of the park here. Beautiful now that the sun's coming out. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, that water came all the way back up here into the trees. This is all wet back in here, all wet, all back in here. Crazy high tide, crazy high tide. Water came all the way back up into here. Wow. Not good for our sea turtles though. Not good for our nesting sea turtles. Our sea turtle nests. There's a look down the beach, down into area four. Maybe Wednesday morning I'll come here to Delnor Wiggins and do my beach walk at Delnor Wiggins. Walk the whole beach, check it out. Start down in area one. We'll see how things work out. This is my second live feed this morning. I did a live feed earlier down on Vanderbilt Beach. A lot of you were with me for that. Same story there, high tide, rough waters. Lots of new sand piled up on the beach down there at Vanderbilt. Yep. The water made it up over the little crest out here on the beach and back into here. All back in here over the weekend. I want to take a quick walk up to the pass, see what it looks like up there at Wiggins Pass.
Good morning, Mark. Hey, Mark, who'd have thought Naj would have become a TV star, huh? Every time I see that commercial with Naj. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I just kind of got a chuckle. Beautiful with the blue sky. Blue sky and white clouds. A welcome sight. A welcome sight to us here after all that rain. If we, if there's any interesting shells on the beach up here. I picked up a cockle shell right before I started my live feed here. I finally picked up a nice little shell with a hole in it. I owe two people some shells here on the prayer trees. Our friend Joni Lowe and our friend Peter Edwards over in the UK. Peter, I'm gonna hang a shell for your sister Dawn this morning. She passed away, oh, I don't know, a few weeks back now. I hadn't had any luck the past couple times I was out here finding any shells to hang on the prayer tree. So I got one in my pocket for Peter's sister Dawn. they're going to open the park up after hours here let the people with after hours passes get in here earlier chomping at the bit to get in here for sunrise a little cockle shell it just washed up as I was walking by the waves just pushed it up onto the beach this little cockle shell they're such beautiful shells. Remember, the other day, what was it, Thursday? I think it was Thursday when I was out here the last time. We saw all those opened up. The whole cockle shell opened up. No, no live cockles in them, but we, the whole shells all piled up. Up towards Wiggins Pass up here. That was kind of neat. Well, there's our Osprey friend and our Area 5 Osprey buddy sitting up there in the pine tree. As soon as I... Let's see if I can get you a shot of him. I'll look at him up there. See him up there? There he sits. There is our one of our Osprey buddies, one of our feathered friends. Beautiful blue sky today, loving it. So tired of seeing those dark rain clouds.
Still pretty rough out here. Lots of new sand on the beach. Lots of new sand on the beach. Look at There's another look at that bench. Look. Look at how that bench has been buried. Look how much new sand has been piled up here. Look at that. Wow. Uh, that blue sky is such a welcome sight. Oh, wow. Sadly, it looks like the high, way, the high winds and the waves have knocked a lot of the shells off our prayer trees out here by the water. But I am going to hang one right out here. Right up on this branch up here. Right up here. And that is going to be for our friend Peter Edwards, for his sister Dawn, who passed away several weeks ago. That is for Peter Edwards' sister Dawn, who passed away several weeks ago. So prayers for Dawn, for Peter, and the rest of his family. God bless you. Give you a moment here, Peter, if you're watching. Take a moment. If, if this world ever needed prayers, it's right now. Boy, just pray for world peace. Take a quick photo of that, bear with me. That 
let's keep moving up the beach here. Well, I'm not seeing much of anything on the beach. It looks like it was swept clean here. I don't know what it'll look like around the corner, but not much of anything on the beach, shell-wise. Maybe somebody beat me to them. But it, that water, you can see that water came all the way back up into and under, into and under, up to and under the trees up there. Looks like up here at Wiggins Pass. Hey, yesterday, yesterday I shared a great video of Roy's brother Rudy. I'm so, I feel so lucky that I got to meet him before he passed away. Check out that video of Roy's brother Rudy. It took a little while to get him going, to get him talking, but he shared some fun stories fun stories with us you can see the love that Roy had and still does have for his brother Rudy that was recorded back in 2017 Another bench. Boy, a lot of sand, more sand pushed up here on the beach and at the pass. This is the very north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. A lot of a lot more sand up here. Another bench. Another bench buried. Look at this. Remember how big that drop-off was there? Look at it. Maybe a Maybe it's a foot now. It was several feet, if not more, before. Look how much sand. Look at that. Look how much additional sand has been pushed up onto the beach. Just incredible. You know, you always hear me saying this beach is constantly changing shape and size. Sometimes we lose some beach, sometimes we gain some beach. Looks like we gained some beach this time. just never know <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna find when you come out here you never know what it's gonna look like especially after a storm holy cow look at these look at these look at those benches Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Huh. It's going to take them a little while to dig these out. Holy smokes, the rangers got a little bit of work on their hands. Rangers and volunteers. Wow. Incredible. 
there is a little pile of shells there, a little ridge line of shells. Looks like they're pretty well busted up. Pretty well broken up. Some cockle shells. Little whelk shell down there. Nothing's jumping out at me. Piece of a bigger whelk down there. Little calico crab. The shell of a little calico crab. A leopard crab, calico crab. There's the shell. The back shell from one of those little calico crabs. Neat little crabs. Yeah, that's a keeper. Little, A little rough, but a keeper. An old lightning whelk. We'll keep that just because of its size. There's another one. Another little shell from a calico crab. I think I'll keep that. I'll put that in my pocket. Hopefully I won't break it. They're so colorful. We've seen a lot of these alive on the beach, the little calicos. Also known as a leopard crab. Here's a little pen shell. A pen shell, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these pen shells on the beach. The pen shell. Hold it on its end, use your imagination. It kind of looks like an old fashioned writing pen. That's why they call it a pen shell. The pen shell. Can you, can you see that? Use your imagination. <laughs> the pen shell. Pretty fragile, very thin. They bury themselves on the bottom, usually about this much. Usually they have barnacles on the top of them. This one doesn't. They're buried in the sand like that, out in the water. Yeah, I was hoping to find a big moon shell. One of my favorites, those moon shells. Not seeing, no, no, don't see any jumping out at me here. Another lightning whelk, a very colorful lightning whelk down here. Kind of broken up though. Nice colors on it though, the lightning whelk shell right here. Beautiful colors on it. walking kind of fast here. Keeping an eye to the ground as I walk along. Lots and lots of cockle shells. Lots and lots of cockles. Boy, lots of cockle shells. 
They are everywhere out here this morning, up here at the pass. The cockles. Turkey wing shell. There's a little turkey wing shell. a little lightning whelk over here a little one. Oh no that's a was that a pear whelk that is a pear whelk see how it's got the opening it's on the, the openings on the opposite side come on focus so we're gonna get it to focus the pear whelk has the opening on the opposite side of a lightning of the lightning whelk and it's also a lot smoother a lot smoother and more round the pear whelk Oh boy, I found another shell here for the shell tree. For Joni. All right. For Joni's mom. Nice big cockle shell for Joni's mom. Finally, finally, finally. Joni's mom, Esther, who loved coming to the beach and collecting seashells. We'll hang this for... Joni for Esther. Sorry, Joni's mom, Esther. Look at all those conks down there. Right in the middle of the conks, there's a little crown conch. A little crown conch. The other conks down there were fighting conks, two fighting conks. Oh, there's another crown conch over here. couple older crown conks right there. Two older crown conks. Cool. Lots of fun little things out here. If you were to take your time and walk along here, I'm just moving along pretty fast. There are some nice little shells out here to pick up. Especially if you're just starting a collection. Some great stuff out here. This is Wiggins Pass at the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Very easy to get to this state park. If you're on I-75, you just get off at exit 111, which is Immokalee Road. Exit 111, Immokalee Road, and just go west, and it essentially dead ends at the entrance to the park. Couldn't be any easier to get to.
one of our brown pelican friends over here. Just came up on the beach out of the water. They're actually quite large birds. You don't realize it until you get up close to them how big they really are. Gotta love our pelicans. Oh, he's like, get away from me. Leave me alone, Rob. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Hallelujah. Been missing that. Been missing that blue sky. Wiggins Pass. That's the remnants of quite a large whelk shell down there. A little snowy egret next to it. keeping its eye on me. Yeah, we're looking at you, buddy. We're looking at you. <laughs> These that little egret's keeping his eye on the fisherman's bait buckets. Boy, it is starting to heat up out here now. Starting to heat up. This is the big news over here. Look at all these benches. Check out all of these benches. How much sand got piled up on the beach here at Wiggins Pass. Look at these benches over here.
while. That's a lot of sand. Pretty amazing. Mother Nature is quite amazing, isn't she? First, we're worried about the beach washing away. Now look at it. It's back. <laughs> Almost back. That ridge behind the benches, that was a huge drop off not too long ago. Now look at it. Just cannot predict Mother Nature. As hard as we try, we can get close, but we cannot predict her with 100% accuracy. actually a boat heading out there it is windy out in the Gulf Morning.
There is the cockle shell that I put on the tree earlier that I hung on one of our prayer trees for Peter Edwards' sister Dawn. There's that cockle shell. And I have another cockle shell that I just picked up that I want to hang for our friend Joni Lowe's mom. Joni Lowe's mom, Esther. I'm going to come around to another branch here. Hang this one for Esther, who was a beach lover, a shell collector. So it's only appropriate that we hang a shell for her here at Del Norwegens. Let's see if I can get it over this knot on the end here. And down. Ah, I can't do it. That would have been a great little spot for it there. I can't get it over that knot. Here's another good spot. Another good spot overlooking the water. Come on, get in there. I like getting them down on down as far as I can here. Well, that's a good spot there. There you go. That is for Joni Lowe's mom, Esther. As soon as the sun comes out, I'll get a nice picture of it to send to Joni. Another cockle shell. Get some light on it there. Beautiful. There you go, Joni. Finally. It's been a long time. I promised you several weeks ago that I would do this. That's for Esther. Hey, thanks for tagging along on this second little beach walk this morning. I was just curious as to what the park looked like, especially up here at the north end. Pretty amazed at how much sand was dumped on the beach over the weekend up by Wiggins Pass. And down to the south, I was talking to our friend Kevin, who is a volunteer here now. He said a lot of sand dumped on top of some of our sea turtle nests, which is not a good thing but maybe Wednesday I'll come out here and walk the whole beach it's only because of my supporters that I'm able to come out here and do these beach walks if, if you're a regular monthly supporter thank you so much you guys are the backbone of these beach walks those of you that send the stars thank you I appreciate those stars some pelicans. Some of our pelican friends. And those of you that send those little thank yous, those little tips to my PayPal account, those are really appreciated. Those 
that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps the gas in the car and pays all those little surprise bills that pop up. Tires and car maintenance. Thank you guys for doing that. If anybody, if you like what you see and you want to send something, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Above all, thank you for being a friend. Another sign of how much sand was washed up onto the beach. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, have a great Monday, everybody. Have a great Monday. Look forward to seeing you again Wednesday morning. Be sure to tune in and tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them to become a part of our beach family. We're always getting some new members there now. Every day we get a couple more new friends. Be sure to welcome them aboard here. Well, I gotta get rolling. Again, have a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a friend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.